Howdy friends, Pete here. Last fall, five cop-blocking individuals spoke at the fourth annual Keenvention. The title of their talk was, you guessed it, Cop Block Panel at Keenvention 2015. Recognizing that a 90 minute video is a commitment, I wanted to whet your appetite with a teaser here. The panel was hosted by JP Freeman of Keen Cop Block, who's been very active on the streets for years and who's made substantial inroads with college students at nearby Keene State College. The other panelists were Jessica Phillips and Steve Daves, also of Keene Cop Lock, as well as Rob Mathias and Ann Leverett, who are based in Manchester, where they film the Rebel Love Show weekly. Let me give you a bit more info to provide some context. Keene has been a hotbed of activism for at least a decade, probably most well known for its civil disobedience and Robin Hooding. And as Ian Freeman, co-host of the nationally syndicated Free Talk Live, which is also based in Keene, has stated, it is the liberty media capital of the world. And in fact, it's the place where copblock.org was incubated. It, it's almost the same everywhere. They, they, they're all combat oriented and, and the police, the police are just getting over, overstructured with so many laws and, and basically, uh, I, I think they do it for revenue purposes. I know here in Keene, they make about 38 to $40,000 a month on college kids alone. But for me, I think the scariest moment was probably when I was five uh, and my mother had been pulled over for failing to use a blinker and the, um, the police officer found an, an empty open container in the back seat and I was taken away for like a week, a week and a half. And that kind of really awakens you to the, to the fact that these people have the right to kidnap people uh, that nobody else has or the right that nobody should have, especially when there's no victim. And they, they were pretty upset that we were raising our children to not interact and engage with police. Luckily, I, I don't have a fear of taking out my phone now from cop blocking. I have no fear. I'll always put it in their face like, this is my protection against you. I do outreach from 6 to about 8 o'clock. And then when the parties start, I start literally listening to my scanner and going to each party that the cops get called to. We'll get like 50 plus people out there for a DUI checkpoint. The large cop block presence in New Hampshire has made a big difference because my experience of how I've been treated by police in New Hampshire is much different than other states. If you were at all inspired by what you heard from the panelists, I encourage you to attend the Porcupine Freedom Fest or Pork Fest, which happens this June a few hours north of Keene in a town called Lancaster. There you'll be able to meet most, if not all, the panelists as well as about 1,500 other good folks who know that badges don't grant extra rights. A link to that event is in the description below, as are links to Keene Cop Block and New Hampshire Regional Cop Block. Until next time, peace. You gotta work on you first before you can like try and help the world and change the world. You gotta change you first. If you need changing, like yeah, take a break, work on you, and then come back. Some of the bouncers explicitly cooperate with the cops, and I just wanna get cameras in their face. Oh, so yeah. any ideas y'all got, Please bring them. Well, let me talk to you afterwards. Uh, we'll make I'll, an event. I'll, I'll come as soon.